I'm going to show you how I solder the uh, onto this uh, un uninverted S bus port. So there's these two little pads real close together, and they're very tiny. And I think uh, a lot of people who may not know how to solder well will struggle to to solder to these without damaging anything else. So I'm going to show you how I do it, and then uh, and I hope this helps somebody. So we got that there. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my soldering iron. And I'm going to clean up that tip and make sure that I don't have any solder on there or any kind of dangling bits. I'll throw some links in the description to some of the soldering products that I use, such as this uh, soldering iron tip cleaner. All right, so there's that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, touch my solder onto the point where I'm going to be soldering. And then once I've got it held there, I'm going to come in and connect the soldering iron to the tip where those things, all, all three will come together. And the idea is that the solder will melt from the iron and it will heat up that pad at the exact moment um, and allow that um, solder to stick in place. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm gonna hold it there. Okay, now I'm coming in with the soldering iron. Touch, and it, did, it didn't stick, right? So the pad's still, uh, you know, bronze. You can see that I'm on and off with the heat very quickly. It's important that you don't just leave the soldering iron on the point uh, sitting there heating up the entire board. That's a great way to ruin the board and uh, you'll get it all built up and then something's not going to work right. So one thing you can do is, is try to touch the, touch the solder to that point. So I just did that. I touched the solder to the point uh, where I want it to stick and the solder immediately heats up the pad and it carries over. Alright, so if we look here you can see that that pad now has a little glob of solder on the end. And that's all you're shooting for right now. You're not trying to get a wire on there yet. You're just trying to tin the pad so that you, when you come in with the wire after the fact, um, that you can you know, you know, can stick the wire on. Um, if you try to do it without that, you're gonna have a much harder time. And you may end up damaging the board by overheating it or, or accidentally touching one of the other components on here. So now that we've got that uh, tinned, we're going to tin the wire that we plan to stick there. And then we're gonna actually um, solder the wire down. So here's the wire I'm going to use, and uh, right now that wire, um, it looks tinned already, but it's from the manufacturer and I like my own solder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin the tip of this real quick. Get that out of the way. Okay. Okay, so we got a nice glob of solder on the end there. You can see that here. Nice glob of solder. Okay, so now we're going to take our receiver. All right that in focus. We're going to take our receiver and I I like to come at it from this angle not off the side because we, normally what I'll do is I'll get it soldered on and then I'll run it right around the plug just like that. So I basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it in place and I'll have it stick forward a little bit so it stays away from the components over here. I don't want it to accidentally. If I go from tip to tip there's a chance that the top of this solder will touch these other components. I don't want that so I'm going to, I'm going to start my start my wire there and I'll have it just stick off the edge of the board a little bit and that's fine. It's a lot better than accidentally soldering components that you don't mean to. So again, I'm gonna clean this tip off. I don't want anything on the tip. If there were if there were a glob of solder here on the tip of this soldering iron and I didn't realize it, like you can see there's some on there now. If I didn't see that and uh, I go to place it, I might end up putting a big glob of solder down where I don't need it and cause me all kinds of problems, so. All right, so we've got, get this wire out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna lay the wire down exactly where I want it. And if I heat the solder up, there's a good chance it's gonna immediately heat up the solder below on the pad and stick this guy down. So I'm gonna try that now. Okay, moved a little bit. All right, so that didn't stick. You can see I pulled away and it immediately came with it. So I'm gonna try it again. And there we go. Okay, so now you can see it's coming with that might not be a great solder I mean I can I can lift up the wire a little bit and see if it immediately pulls off it looks like it's actually on there pretty good I'm giving it a slight tug I mean you don't have a lot to solder on to so don't apply too much pressure there you will pop it off but that's pretty much it let me show you that real quick all right so get that focused okay so there you go it's on there it's it's you know away from the components you don't want it to be all up in these components the blue ones there and it's not making contact with that other pad, which is what you're shooting for. What I normally will do is I'll take a glob of solder, I'm sorry, a glob of uh, uh, hot glue, and I'll just stick it right on there because I'm not soldering anything else to this point, and I don't want this wire to accidentally get pulled on at a later time and make that connection come undone. So I'm just gonna glob it up with solder. And now what I do is 
Um, now that it's on there, it's got a big glob of hot glue on it. Um, I'm going to heat shrink the entire thing from end to end here, and it's going to it's going to heat up that uh, hot glue, and it's going to help the whole thing to just kind of get locked in place. You want to make sure when you're putting your hot glue down that you don't accidentally. Sorry, dog's going crazy. That you don't accidentally um, cover this uh, this bind button. So right now I can still press the bind button. You want to make sure you're still able, still able to do that, um, and don't you don't hot glue over it. But that's it, man. That's the, uh, the the mod done right there. This is what it looks like when it's all done and heat shrinked up. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy drone-related tutorial and tips and tricks videos, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.